Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a haul from Aldi. I didn't need a lot of stuff, but there were some things that I did need, and so I wanted to share it with you guys. I spent a total of $73 and some change, so I will jump right in. So the first couple of things I picked up were some chicken thighs. Um, and actually I didn't really need any meat, but it's really hard for me to pass up chicken when it's on sale, especially since it's something we eat all the time. So um, this package of chicken thighs was 99 cents a pound and a total of 5.96 pounds. It was 5.90 and then I had $2 off, so I got all of that chicken for 3.90. And then I like to cook a lot with boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Um, these were $1.69 a pound, um, almost five pounds. It was $8.16 and it was $2 off of that. So it was $6.16 for all of that chicken. Then Howard and I really love cheese. And so I wanted to give this vintage Irish cheddar cheese um, a taste. And then also this Your Cajun Meat Crazy. And they had a lot of different varieties of um, this cheese. They had a coffee um, variety and they had some other stuff that I can't think of off the top of my head. I needed some pepper jack, so I grabbed two blocks of pepper jack and two blocks of Monterey Jack. I needed some string cheese for a recipe that I have coming up. And then I have been making some crock pot meals with, um, that called for cream cheese and I've had a problem with the cream cheese melting out. Um, so several people suggested trying some whipped cream cheese spread. So I just grabbed some just to have it on hand. And then I grabbed two of the chive and onion cheese spreads for recipes. And then I just also eat it as a spread on crackers as well. Grab some butter lettuce because I think we're gonna have um, chicken salads for dinner. Um, coming up soon and then I just grabbed a Caesar salad um, chop kit for just a side for dinner. I got these for a recipe. I bought some of these before but they went bad before I had a chance to use them and these are the refrigerated kind. They also have some that are on the shelf but these are the refrigerated kind. I needed some green onions just because I like to have them on hand and then I also grabbed some cabbage as well and some mushrooms for recipes. I grabbed these for the very first time. These are sweet potato bites. I'm gonna try Harrison out on these because he does like sweet potatoes. So I'm hoping that he will like these too. They also had broccoli and they had one other vegetable. I can't remember what it is now though. And then I saw this, wanted to give it a try. So I thought the broccoli and cheddar was the topping on the pizza. I didn't realize that it's the crust. So the crust is broccoli cheddar. This was $4.99, um, so I think it's probably gonna be similar to cauliflower crust pizzas, which Howard and I do not like cauliflower, but I think it's reminiscent of that, so we're gonna give this a try, see how we like it. And then I grabbed these um, storage bags just because I like you know Christmas stuff like this. I did open it so you guys could see. Kind of disappointed there it's a cute design but i really did think it was color i don't know why but i did think it was color but anyway grab some storage bags grab some more stuff for harrison he likes these rice rusks which are basically just rice crackers so i got him one apple and then two of the strawberry banana um, this is something that's new. This was $1.99, the Creamy Swiss Parmesan Deluxe Cheesy Potatoes. I'm not a huge potato person, but Howard is, so I got these um, for me to make for him. And then Harrison loves puffs, so I got him a blueberry puff and strawberry apple puffs. And then he really loves these yogurt bites, so I got him three packages of these as well. And these are the cheapest places, Aldi is the cheapest place that I've found to buy this kind of stuff. Um, it's less than $2, which is a great deal. And then the last thing I picked up is for Harrison as well. Um, they had several different of these types of touch and feel books. They had Christmas stories, they had bedtime books, that type of thing. But it was five, no, I'm sorry, it was $4.99. And you open up the pages and you can touch and feel all the different animals and things like that. So I got this for him, I think he will like that. 
So anyway, that's all that I picked up, short and sweet, but I did wanna share it with you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.